Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hello, everybody. That's my bop, bop, bop song. And it's time for the ramble, which goes from now and it rambles on until midnight Eastern Daylight Time uh, in about a half hour from right now, or about 25 minutes from right now. Uh, we'll uh, go check in with our citizens panel, but right now we're going to check in with an old girlfriend of mine who I happened to marry at one time. Look who's there. There she is. There she is. The only ex-wife I talked to. <laughs> How many are there? I forgot. Uh, well, I mean, no, I, excuse me. I talked to, talk to Susan as well, but only on occasion. I talk to you regularly. Yes. Well. And the first one, I can't even remember her name. You know, I mean. Oh, it, come on. I don't know if she's still alive. You know, she could be dead for all I know. You know, so. You know, at our age, that's not impossible. Oh, it's not impossible at all. So anyway, uh, this is my uh, ex-wife, Ronnie Bennett, who runs as time goes by or time goes by dot net. No as, yeah. no as. Time goes by dot net, which is a site all about aging, and it's funny. But what I decided to do, you know, I got to do the show on Sunday, which I've invited you to come on, uh, which is a national program. It's on 50 stations across the country. Uh, radio stations or internet? Stations? Radio stations, radio. Okay, cool. It's a radio. It's Westwood One, and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I, you know, I have my reservations about doing it, but that's a whole other story. So I figure out, what am I going to talk about? And I finally decided, what am I going to do that is controversial? Uh, and, and this guy runs a rather soft show. It's not really about politics or anything else. But what could I do that would really shock people? And I thought I would break a huge show business broadcasting taboo. And I'm going to tell everybody how old I am. You've done that on our little show. Well, on our little show, I've done it. But I'm doing this on a national show. And I'm saying this, this is something that will ruin my career. Okay? Not that well, I've got know, one now. Well, depending on how long someone has been listening to yeah. you, they could guess your age, maybe. Well, no, but most of the people probably will not be aware of my wonderful being. I'm not asking people to phone up. I'm not going to tell them how old I am till the end of the show. But I'm also not asking them to call up and tell me how, what, how old they think I am, because all I have to do is go over to Wikipedia and they'll find it out, right? right? Yes. But, uh, Nothing's I, a but, secret anymore. But then I want to do this whole thing about, <clears throat> about aging and about not being hireable and uh, not people not taking you seriously and a whole bunch of, you know, just a whole, you know, you know, the, 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 yes. the, you know what goes on. You've been reporting it now for years. And so I'm going to have you on to kind of uh, uh, talk more about aging and about that whole process and, and what the problems are, you know, so. But, uh, 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 yeah, I'm going to make it like I'm breaking the biggest taboo in show business, which it really is because, you know, movie stars don't come out and say how old they are. Well, they don't either, and it's also... Um, it, it covers just about every every place you go, and it includes diversity laws. When someone writes laws or rules, depending on whichever it is, yeah. about diversity in whatever their organization is, yeah. they talk about skin color and ethnicity and abledness or disabledness and so on, but they never stick age in there or hardly ever stick age in that list of what constitutes diversity to them. It's really the last, the last a prejudice that you're allowed to have. Well, and if you watch the late night comedians, yeah. all of them, yeah. both the early ones at 11.30 and the ones at 12.30, almost every night, every one of them will have a joke about being old that isn't nice to old people. Almost every week. Or every day. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, what was and, it? And by the way, I really like Seth Meyers a lot. I enjoy lately Jimmy Fallon some more. Once in a while, I like Stephen Colbert. But they're the worst offenders in that area. I'll, I'll tell you who I don't think is that way, because I get sensitive when I hear that, is uh, 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 Jimmy Kimmel. 
No, no, I meant Kimmel. You not meant Fallon. Kimmel. I'm, sorry, no, I'm glad you didn't mean. Oh, thank God you didn't mean Fallon. I was about ready to think less of you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kimmel, Kimmel is pretty decent that way. He's pretty decent all the way around. Except for that. Except for that. Well, you know, uh, even last night on the MTV Awards, which obviously is for young people. All right. Uh, the comedian, the black comedian, I'm trying to remember his name now. Oh, I saw the story about him, yes. Oh, no, no, I saw, yeah. saw about one of them talking about Trump. Yeah, and he said, and they say, he said, everybody, Neil, don't be told what to do by an old white man. Yeah. So he See what I mean? So he got, he, got ra- he got racist twice in one yeah. sentence, you know. I mean, uh, the word old is the throwaway nasty thing you can say about people and get away with and it's always with a negative connotation nobody says old in the way they say young yeah yeah um and so there we and that affects everything i mean you know you don't really want chapter and verse from me today on how it affects the quality of medical care you get and all kinds of things like well that. i it, it, oh uh, quality of medical care uh i don't know about quality but I do yes, know that do- the doctors, when you're old, say, what pill do you want? You can have anything. <laughs> no, it's not that simple. They don't do just that. Um, and it's not that. But you do get, you. W- th- there are certain reasons, let's say, for example, for certain surgery, depending on what your other problems are, not to be done. But a lot of people just dismiss ki- certain kinds of treatment for old people just because of the number of their age. Yeah. You know? Um, but isn't it, it also in because... In the big surgery I had last year for yeah. my cancer, um, later one of the doctors told me that they, at my, my age was 76 then, that they might not have done it. It's huge. They cut you open down the middle and it's 12 hours of surgery and it goes on and on and it's you know months of recovery. They said, but you were in so healthy and in such good shape we felt we could do it. And you know we know it turned out well. But a lot of places wouldn't even offer that. Wow. For age. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're, fr- well, I think they're also afraid that you're not going to make it because it is such a, your, your operation, for instance, was very invasive. You know, it was about <laughs> as, invas- as invasive. <laughs> you might say. Well, they, cu- they cut you open and then gutted you like a carp, you know. Yes, uh, much. You know. Uh, uh, so they, they sometimes feel that, well, you know, maybe she can't, it, it, maybe her but fault. But that's what I was just telling you. They said that, I mean, the doctors I had, are are really it's a whole the whole medical center is really terrific and they weighed against you know what the dangers might be for age against my health yeah my, and whatever you know and I'd, I'd never had a, a major any kind of major health problem before so they thought that I was strong enough to do it and here I am 14 months later so I guess they yeah. were right yeah well, they, they, they did a good job but yeah. not every place will even consider it and, and do what they need to do to figure out if it would be safe. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be wearing a bikini to a beach anytime soon. No, but. I'm not. But you know what? <laughs> I, I, you know, I really should tell the surgeon this, because you know, they cut me from here to here, you know, straight down the middle. Yeah. And I just, you know, I have these huge amounts of, they came with a place, window um, mirrors in the dressing room, yeah. bathroom kind of area. And... I made a point. I never looked in the mirror. I didn't want to see what this looked like. Yeah. But a couple of months ago, I guess as I was coming up on the year anniversary, changing clothes, I looked. This guy should be a plastic surgeon. You can barely see the scar. Really? Yeah. Really? I thought it was like, you know, when people people go get open, people get open heart surgery, they they have what they call a zipper, you know? Yeah. Well, oh. I, I, in the beginning, I kept telling people that, you know, if, if, if this ever gets healed, maybe I'll go out and get a zipper tattoo, but to cover it. But, uh, but it's it's there. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not going to put a bikini on ever again for other reasons. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but I was astonished at how terrific it looks. It's barely there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Pretty That's cool. terrific. Well, anyway, what I'm saying is, is that. The, the premise that I'm using on this show is I'm going to talk about all the ways in which my life, for instance, has been affected by aging. And that at 78, I said, you probably can't tell by my voice how old I am because my voice is still pretty, pretty young in, in nature. It's not really old. Um, uh, <clears throat> unless today, because I'm a little hoarse from having swallowed the wrong way and almost coughed on something. It, it went down the windpipe. Anyway, th- enough of that. 
now I'm sounding like an old person, um, but that I, that, you know, that I can still do my job because here I am doing it, right? But there's no way anybody's going to hire me. You, you know, know, I always thought that radio I, I gave up. would be I, more insulated against that because not counting a, an internet, you know, video that we do, you can do radio. Nobody knows how old you are. Yeah, they can't well, see you. You know something? I honestly believe I lost my job at Sirius partially to age. Uh, be, and I know that. How do I know that? Because the most ageist thing that ever happened to me happened as they were getting rid of me. They, I had a... Uh, uh, what do you call it when they pay you money uh, for a couple of months after they let you go? Right. I had a... Uh, Whatever they call uh, it. If, I had something like 16 weeks of pay that mm -hmm. I had accumulated over the years to get. Mm -hmm. when, so before they would write me a check for it, I had to sign a piece of paper saying I wouldn't sue them for age discrimination. That's right. And I said to them, you realize this in and of itself is age discrimination because you wouldn't ask a younger person to fill this out. And they didn't have anything to say. And they said, if, well, you know, if you don't there, sign, if you don't sign a, against, well, um, age discrimination in the, in the employment area, but over the years, and not, I'm not saying President Trump, I mean, previous to him too, they've been weakened and weakened and weakened. And even if they hadn't been weakened, think about it, if you believe that strongly that um, you've got problems at work or you've been fired due to age discrimination, you could use these, you can go to the EEOC, the Equal Opportunity Employment Organization, it's mm -hmm. a government agency, or you could sue. But the difference is, is that most companies have lawyers on call, full-time lawyers even, who work for them. And so they don't care what those guys, as long as those guys are working, you know, they're putting in their time. They can handle the case. You have to pay a lawyer, what, hundreds and hundreds of dollars an hour. Right. So hardly any employee ever gets a chance to apply those laws. Okay. And that's another form of discrimination, though, yeah. this one from the government. Well, I think that if I decided to turn out, turn around and sue them, I still could have. Because the fact <laughs> that they... If you have the money, the, you'll run out. The, They'll just string it out yeah, forever. The fact, that out they were, the fact that they were holding up my check, you know... If I didn't sign this thing, it's a different thing. thing. But, yeah. but, um, but my point is, is that an an, an a, a lawyer that's got a job with this com company, he's got whatever number of cases he's working on, he can just string it out with all kinds of legal stuff forever and ever until you've run out of money to pay your lawyer. Yeah. Well, I mean, we we were having, you know, we're kind of having that problem with this apartment house. I mean, this thing kept, keeps getting strung out and strung out and strung out. We put out about fifty thousand dollars. In, mm. uh, in lawyer's fees, mm. you know. However, we haven't been paying rent for five years, so you, it's pretty cheap rent we've been paying, <laughs> you know. So, I hope they don't come and make you pick it, pay it all comes, back. Comes about, no, they won't, they can't. There's, they, they, we, don't, we don't owe anybody any money. They don't, we don't, they don't have a piece of paper on us say, that we signed obligating ourselves to them. Okay. You know, and, and we were willing to settle this five years ago. They're the ones that keep it going. You know, so, I mean, it's just on and on and on. But anyway, you're right about that, that they will lawyer you out and try and prevent you from, from getting oh, what's what's a good I like that phrase, lawyer you out. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, but they'll lawyer you out until you can't, you can't afford to keep the right. going after them. So it's not worth it to you, it's especially not worth it. wouldn't be worth it to me for 16 weeks worth of severance. That was the term. That's the word you want, yes. Uh, six, you know, for 16 weeks of severance. So, you know, it's, it's but uh, I'm just going to go through this whole thing about, you and know. And by the way, let me interrupt just a second. And then you're the cap on, you're the cap on the hour, you know, of, of talking about oh, this okay. from a very professorial uh, the, sense. Um, the thing about signing the signing the paper that you don't you're yeah. not what about age discrimination yeah, or right. whatever it was that it said that's very similar to the recent news over the past week or two about the NDAs that the White House requires yeah that, that there's I mean that you're a government employee for heaven come on you, nobody can tell you what you can say I don't think an NDA would hold up at the White House that's the point. That's well, what he we doesn't don't realize. Know. No one's well, ever tested nobody's it's ever done. Never been done nobody, Trump. nobody's ever done it before Trump. Yeah. You know, NDAs are something, admittedly, that you do in business. 
okay? You want to keep your company secrets and you don't want people to disclose the nature of the business. Well, I question those two, but that's a long conversation. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's a, it's a better... It's a better argument because it's private companies. Whereas in this case, if it th is, this is the people's, this is the people's company. You can't have people signing non-disclosure agreements, people's especially company. if somebody sees something going wrong and they want to complain about it. You know, mm -hmm. that's terrible. You know. So anyway, you know, this is uh, this is a quite a it's quite a. Uh, uh, a, a thing we deal with with aging and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the whole thing up and now I'm going to tell you I'm really old <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm really old and and um, uh, you, you know if if I told you in advance how old I was you probably wouldn't even listen to the show <laughs> okay well not me well not you but those listeners They'll, they'll make a presidential uh, decision. And I'm going to say, now, by me revealing my age to an audience like this, what I'm doing is I'm also saying to the industry, you know, that I'm that age. Yes. I mean, how many people uh, lie about their age as they get older? Practically everybody, if they want to keep working. Well, and because of what we were just discussing, especially in the workplace, do you know that, that age discrimination in the workplace begins as early as 40 for women yep. I'm, for men yep. but as early as 35 for women really really and you know think about this that you go to school maybe even go to graduate school right so you don't get you're not ready to go to work full time until you're nearly 25 years old right yeah so you finally go you get this terrific job somewhere you've got all this education now of course people have to uneducate you and teach you how we really work in whatever business it is, which usually happens. But now by the time you hit 35 to 40, you really know what you're doing. By then you're really good at what you do, oh, whether yeah. it's lawyer, doctor, yeah. Indian chief, it doesn't matter. And that's when they decide to stop hiring you, when you really got the chops. Well, when I was a kid, people retired at 65 and they held a big party for them. Because they had hit you gotta 65. Go watch and you got a gold watch and everything. There were a lot of those, because they held they held on to people. They they the older people in the company were the continuity. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, institutional memory really important. By the way, you know, I worked at Barbara Walters Specialist for 11 years. Mm -hmm. For up to 10 years afterwards, because I had been there so long. Yeah. For up to 10 years afterwards, I would occasionally get a call from somebody I'd never heard of then working there mm -hmm. or in some other capacity, but they were looking for certain things about the you know, tape, for instance, about Barbara Walters specials or something. They would call me and ask where I thought they could find them. And I usually could answer um, because they were usually in some you know file cabinet in the back room or something that was still there. Nobody had ever looked. Yeah. But... I mean, and that's just the stupidest reason for institutional memory. Now. Yeah, there are tons of. But reasons. but but you know, I mean, these people were the were the continuity at the company, and mm -hmm. also by the time they got to that age, they knew everything about that business you could know. They were they were experts. Uh, today we don't have experts because we're we weed them out too fast. You know, how many companies could we you? We don't even hire them anymore. You know the gig economy. I'll tell you. People work from home for, you know, for X number of weeks for something and move on to the next one. My wife is maybe three years younger than I am. Okay? Maybe, yes, she is three years younger than I am. Be careful you don't slip until your age already. Yeah, but she works, <laughs> she works for the Chinese. They don't care. Uh-huh. They don't care. As long as she can do the job, that's all that matters. You know? Uh, I've, I've seen... She's always worried that, well, they might find out how old I am. And I said, they don't, believe me, they know you're not 65, you know, but they are Chinese and they look upon age in a different way. They look, they venerate it, you know. And I, I said, so, you know, you're very lucky you're working for the Chinese. And they also pay good money, too. So, you know. <laughs> Uh, so you can work as long as you want in those in that situation. I guess you know nobody's telling her to retire. In fact, they keep saying we we hate the day that you're going to retire because you know you do such a great job of keeping this place going. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so, but I mean, it's it's difference in cultures, too. I think in China, you'll see people working to a later age. I In, in the United States, you're lucky if you can cough your way to 50. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. it's hard. You know, and I lasted in this business. Uh, my I had my former producer, Albert, staying with me for a couple of days. And he's last night said to me, he said, I, because I said, well, you know, I don't know if I was that successful. He said, not successful. He said, I don't know anybody who lasted as long being on the air as you. He said, you kept going well into your 70s. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. And most people are out of it way before that. I suppose a big part of it, what you mentioned early on, is what happens to your voice. Yeah. Um, is that it becomes more difficult both to speak clearly and loudly enough and right. um, and, and and difficult to listen to because it's got a, I don't know, old pe- some old people get a fuzzy quality and you have to listen extra hard to make sure you Some days, accept. some days when I, when I'm, <clears throat> when it's like there's a lot of pollen out. Oh, I, I, got I can get that way. Fires, forest oh, you, fires oh you got the forest fires there. Yeah. Yeah, and you got them. California in- gets a lot of talk. But there are some here. And also, I saw maps online where it's being blown, you know, either south from Washington State or north from California, depending on which way the wind is going. And there was an astonishing U.S. map that showed some from, I guess, around the Rockies, a huge thing of smoke being uh, pushed by the wind toward you in the east coast. Yeah. Wow. So you don't have to be right. There's an unbelievable video this morning online of a father and son driving through a forest fire. Yes, I saw that. Isn't that amazing? I saw that, and then they finally got down to a boat and were taken away. Yeah. It's astonishing. Yeah. So anyway, so um, and what well, was really astonishing about it was there was a little bit of bickering between the father and son. But in general, there's flames all around them on this picture, and they're incredibly calm about it. Yeah. Well, you know what's really terrible? Our old fires. Our what? Old fires. I don't know. Uh, it's a joke. We were talking about age and being discriminatory, and I said there's nothing oh. worse than an old fire. Okay. Okay. I, I was just trying to lighten the, know, the tone up I from know, you and your being singed by a fire talk. No. It's funny. I know now you with the fires there. I know a woman who calls my show from Hawaii. She's on the island of Hawaii. Oh, they've the, got all of that. Oh, the volcano. The volcano. Although she's the volcano's kind of quiet right now. She said it's finally yeah. finally died. But it down. went for months, weeks, or anyway, and maybe months. Oh yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, isn't nature wonderful? It really is. I mean, I looked at that volcano and I just went, ooh. You know, I don't want to be there, but ooh. I have to tell you that I think the Northeast, like from about New York forward, Mm -hmm. upward, is probably the safest place in terms of natural things that can do awful stuff to you. Because here, of course, you know, in Oregon and Washington and Northern California, they're always predicting that next week is the big earthquake. And and there's a lot of flooding depending on the time of year and what's gone on. You have hurricanes in the southern part of the United States and up the East Coast. You have incredible snow and flooding in the Midwest, depending on the season, right. and so on. But um, but there's not much, you know, the, most hurricanes kind of spin out of, you know, they're done by the time they get as far north as yeah. New York. So the most that you guys have is snow in the winter. Well, you don't really well, have well, bad weather other than that. New Jersey went apoplectic a couple of years ago when we had that hurricane here that hit here so we did we did have sandy uh but when you compare it to the way it hit new orleans nothing nothing was going on in new jersey you know for as bad as it was so yes you're right Uh, uh, this area up here you seem somewhat protected Um, and there's and uh and uh, of course in, in a big city of course no forest fires probably you know um I, mean, I live in an area where there are a bunch of two-story buildings, mm-hmm. and we have lots of trees around. And lately, I've begun to think, oh, my goodness, when it gets really dry, do I want that many trees around me? If, yeah, 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 the, you know, but, uh, um, well, every but everywhere you live, there is some kind of, the, the, you know, we can get an earthquake here. There's a fault going right to oh, Central Park. Oh, I have Park. to tell you, years and years ago, I had waked up, it was about 6 o'clock in the morning, 
-hmm. And I had waked up and I was lying there thinking about getting out of bed. And I felt this rumble, rumble, no, no audio, but I felt a rumble under my bed. I'd never, ever felt before. I was living on Bedford Street. And and the subway is a block away, but I'd been there for years and I had never heard the right, subway. Right. So I didn't know what it was. Later, I get out of bed and I turn on the news and there had been an earthquake. Just And there, it seems that there's a fault that runs, I think, if I recall correctly, somewhere along Canal Street. Well, I heard, there, a I heard, I heard there's a fault. Very, go- very minor, very low number. I don't remember yeah. the number. But I had no idea they occasionally have earthquakes they, in New York. They had a, have a fault that goes through Central Park. Yeah. Oh. You know, I mean, uh, you, you don't feel it, and it doesn't really go off much, you know. But when you say you you know, you know, weren't used to that rumbling, you lived in San Francisco. You know what an earthquake is. No, no, feels I meant like. I wasn't used to it where I lived then. Yeah. At I mean, that moment, even though the subway was a block away, I never heard it. In San Francisco, and the only never, thing... I never, ever felt that, either before or since. It was the only time it happened. In, in Northern California, the only thing that uh, hurricanes are good for, uh, hurricanes, uh, that, uh, <laughs> that uh, earthquakes are good for is conversation. Because the next day, everybody goes, did you feel that last night? <laughs> you know, did it wake you up? You know, one of the things old people complain about with each other is that we don't sleep well. Mm-hmm. And when I was in high school, which is the mid-50s, um, had just moved to California, was living in Marin County. Um, I woke up one morning, and I think I was a junior in high school. I woke up one morning, and my bed was about a foot or a foot and a half from the wall. And so, you know, I'm getting up, getting ready for school, the news is on, and there had been a gigantic earthquake in the middle of the night, so much so that it moved my bed from the wall, and I slept straight through it. Teenagers yeah. can sleep through yeah. anything. Yeah. Now, I used to sleep through earthquakes in San Francisco. Uh, but, uh, anyway. hey, look, I just looked at the clock. We've run out of time. See? There we go. We just kind of mumble on we, here, and just, it runs. Its- just two old farts chatting. Okay? Yes. So, uh I'll see you on that show on Sunday. I'm looking forward okay. to it. And uh, uh, I'll is see... Is the entire show about aging or just a no, piece just, of... No, uh, just the first hour. Okay. I'm going to deal oh, with it. Oh, how many hours? Three hours. Oh. But well, you what put, are you making a face for? Uh, I don't know. I don't, it's not... It's not <laughs> it, so why did you agree to do it? Because this guy's been good to me, so, you know, and he thinks I'm so much of me that he thinks that I'm, you know, I'm a real get you know, to replace him while he's well, not Well, you probably there. are. So, I you, know, you are. You know, I think it may even be a, uh, there's some station, Bend, Oregon, nearby you? It's off in the middle of Oregon, yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's the station in Oregon that <laughs> covers, oh, has okay. a show. It's, it's about a three-hour drive from here. Okay, so after, the, <laughs> while the show's on, do it from your car and we can li- you can listen to it. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Hey, listen, see you Sunday, but in the meantime, let's see you in another couple of weeks here, Okay. Talk to you on Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie Bennett can be found at timegoesby.net. Thank you, Ronnie. Bye. Bye. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Yeah, and that's Ronnie, and uh, it takes up a half hour. Yeah, and uh, it allows me to not have to sit here and work hard. Uh, we have a guest tonight. Big production, ladies and gentlemen. Roll over. Just roll, roll over. in. Roll into the shot. Roll over. Y- yeah, roll over. Huh? Didn't Will Durst get his own camera? No, he Will, was a guest. Yeah, but he's out and he's Ronnie out. Ronnie had his own ca- her own camera. He's she was in, a guest. He's out in California. She even got her name right. on the screen. What the hell kind of guest am I? Well, well I that's mean, no good. I could put her name on the screen for you. So. First of all, I thought I was on Michael Snyder's Culture Blast. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be the the uh, Alex Bennett ramble. Mm-hmm. What, what? I was misled. I was completely misled. What do you mean you were completely misled? About what? I thought this was the culture blast, and we were going to talk about hip and cool things. Hip and cool yeah, things? Yeah, with Michael Snyder. I didn't know I would have to do It's that. just a, a movies. <laughs> you know, it's just movies. That's all it is. You know, so anyway. Uh, we, we I've got the lines open in case anybody wants to call. So you went out to dinner tonight. This is your last night in New York, yeah, right? For, for the time being, yeah. For the time being. And, and then they're going to come up once a month and stay here for two weeks, right? 
uh, so your wife thinks. <laughs> she could not have been a, a nicer, and you could not have been nicer, and she is uh, almost to the point of paying for tickets for us to come up every month. Because we've, we've had a nice time. But we, but we really didn't get to spend a lot of time with her because she's always working. Yeah. Because she's got to support the family, right? So yeah. that's well, you know, you know what I liked about uh, what I liked about you guys here, is that usually when people you guys being me and my wife, you and your wife, okay. and your and your 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 and my daughter was here a lot. My daughter yeah. practically slept here every night, and her boyfriend. Yeah. And and my uh, my friend as well. Came we were going to go take a room. hotel room somewhere. Yeah, anyway. right. You were going to have to get out. Anyway, no, but is that when people stay here? They go into that, they use that room, but they go into that room and they stay there. Yeah. You know, it's like being in a cell for crying out loud. No, that's not us. You know, they, you go into the living room, you watch the television yeah. out there, yeah. you, get, you make yourself comfortable, and that's the way it should be. And we, we go into the living room thinking other people are going to be in there. Yeah. But you guys are in front of the uh, TMZ all day long. What do you mean in front of the TMZ? <laughs> You got, you guys are on the bed watching your TMZ. Today we didn't watch TMZ because we had yeah. uh, Better Call Saul to watch. Oh, okay, all right. So we watched that, and then we watched. Uh, oh, here comes Phil Meyer. Yeah. Thank, okay. Thank goodness Phil Meyer is here. Thank goodness. Phil, Phil all I hey. hear, all I hear all day long is how we got Trump. We got Trump. The dirty bastard. Wait now we can hear, hear from you and, and get the real viewpoint you, you, on what's you, going on. You seem to feel that way. We got Trump. We got Trump. Now Phil knows the real. Phil knows the real story. Yeah. You right. you got nothing. 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 Uh, nothing. <laughs> as long as Giuliani's in charge, there's no way they're going to make it stick on the guy. No way. That's that's right. <laughs> hey, uh, you know I've been reading the story about you, uh, Alex, and. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you banged that uh, Argento lady, uh, that actress. Oh yeah, I banged him. Says uh, yeah. you know, says in the news, you you you, you know Bennett banged her. Oh, that that's yeah. n yeah, not the same Bennett. That's the it's close the, enough. The ex girlfriend of uh, the, the Anthony chef? Bourdain. Yeah, Bourdain. Yeah. 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 Turns out that, you know, she was like the big uh, almost almost the initiator of the Me Too, Me Too. movement. Oh, is right. that right? Yeah. Oh, and, that's right, because and, she implicated and, Harvey, uh, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah. And then it turns out that she was accused of rape by this young boy when he was 17. Yeah, it, okay. It was, so right. Bourdain, We've been through this before. The Bourdain, Bourdain paid out, paid out uh, $330,000 to shut the kid up. Yeah, he thought uh, that was, that was, okay, that was okay because he wasn't running for office. Aren't you the one that said if if you were a young guy and the teacher the hot teacher came on oh, to you? Yeah. yeah. I'd be <laughs> the only thing dangerous for a young kid who's good looking high school teacher uh, uh, fucks him is the rash he's going to get from high fiving right. all his friends. Yeah. Absolutely. That's uh, that's well, called statutory sexual education. Yeah. That's what that is. Statutory. Yes, like I said, it's it's just it's on the menu. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. So yeah. How are you feeling, Phil? I heard you weren't well for a while. I mean, uh, uh, physically well, not well. <laughs> yeah, I had uh, I had a number of uh, maladies that have been uh, addressed, and I'm uh, I'm going to be around for a long time, hopefully, to harass Alex. And <laughs> well, you look good. You <laughs> look very. He's good. lacking. He's lacking a prostate now. Okay. And uh, peeing his pants all the time. That's and okay. then uh, he had uh, some balloons put in his heart. So. Oh. Yeah, and 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 little, and they left behind these little uh, McDonald's straws. They they cut them up, and they stick them in there. They call them stents. Wow. Uh -huh. This will this will drive them crazy. You know, your camera is constantly focusing itself. No, I had no idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. let me let me take a look at it. Yeah. Is that yeah. a euphemism or am I missing? No, something? his camera was literally oh, okay. pulsing, blurry, unblurry. Okay. Oh well, let's see. Uh, it's on auto focus. Oh well, you don't want auto focus. Okay, well, I took that off. I yeah, hit then, save. Yeah, then you're I'll okay. Close that little thing. Yeah, yeah, now you'd be okay. Open this up a little more. How's that? Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I sorry, I can't say the same about yours, but what do you oh, mean? This wow. is this is a very expensive camera <laughs> I've got here. <laughs> well, you got a light that flashes on, flashes off. You know what light that flashes on and off? Well, you're you're. Uh, it's not your white balance. It's um, it's 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 okay now. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't bad before. What? What? I didn't notice oh, anything. Yeah, it was terrible. Terrible. No, no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> see, now you're 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 shining on me now. Well, hey, fair is fair. Yeah. No. 
it's good. You know, I, I used to uh, listen to uh, uh, Albert's show, and I, I understand how he used to shine on you. I, oh. the, what I loved about Albert's show was that towards the end, he would cover, just, just touch every topic known to Western man. Uh, for one reason or another, that meant that you couldn't use it. <laughs> well, Have you what, ever noticed what's that? This? No, I don't, I don't remember that. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you would touch on news topics towards the yeah. end of your show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it sort of indicated that it was off limits for Alex to talk about those topics. Not at all. I don't, no? I don't, oh, I don't okay. know why, well, it was why just anybody an assumption would think on that. my part. No, I yeah. don't think so. It was. Yeah. Uh, I think it had a lot to do with his uh, the fact that for me at least he used to do a prep sheet every day. Yes. And ah. and in the process of that learned how to put together a lot of prep and he probably did it for your own show, right? Yeah, I, I would write down the things that I saw during the day that I thought might have been of interest to people and bring them up in case anybody wanted to talk right. about it. That's right. about it. We're going to be see, I always assumed it was because you know, Alex wouldn't uh, uh, talk. Uh, he wouldn't play a record or uh, couldn't play a record that someone else uh -huh. played before him. And he wouldn't play records that he felt were more timely and didn't want to mess it up for the regular jocks. No, no, so no. Uh, I, I just thought that maybe his uh, when he talked about different subjects, if you had touched it, uh, he couldn't talk about it. No, I, ne I, never, I never heard that or thought that before, but if I did, then I'd have broadened, absolutely broadened the scope of what I was going to talk <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, he would ruin it. Yeah, to the point where there was nothing else to talk nothing. about. Yeah. Absolutely nothing for him to talk about. <laughs> but, you know, that was already covered on right. Albert's show. Yeah, Alex, right. you, you don't no, have to no, go there. No, no, but he only had like a, an, an hour show. And I had right. two hours, and uh, you know, so I could. You no, know, there's no reason why I can't take talk about the same subjects. You know. Well, you do now. I mean, <laughs> no, but I mean, do I do I tell uh, 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 Jack Bishop that he can't talk about the day's news or what's happening with Trump? Uh, no, of course not. Yeah. But uh, by, you the know, way, Jack by the way, by talk the way, about those by things. The, way, the best thing today was Trump yeah. saying. Well, I never knew about this situation and the payment of the money until long after it happened. When he has already stated publicly that he, he, we yeah. have the tapes where he's talking to him about this. I heard the tapes. Uh, uh, Ray Renati sent it to me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what I had said the other night about. Uh, oh, by the way, you were uh, wrong. Asked my attorney. You were at, no, you're hey, wrong, hey, no, you're hey, wrong hey. about that because he, you know, he was saying, uh, I. Uh, no, no. Yeah. But, you know, the no-no could have meant, uh, well, no, 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 I, I'm not going to talk about that. Talk to my attorney. No, but that isn't, that isn't what he have. said, and you were wrong yeah. in quoting him. Well, so. it, it could, you know, I mean, you know, if you could spin it that it way. Could, you could spin it, but that's not that's, what it is. That's not spinning. <laughs> <laughs> spin on this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but uh, uh, he, he, the tapes that, uh, that um, um, came out of, Trump talking to him about, I think it was about the Karen, uh, what's yeah. her name? Uh, uh, yeah, he, situation. He said, uh, pay he, her cash. Yeah, yeah. And the, but he said today he didn't hear about either of these things till well after they were taken care of. Well, maybe he wasn't listening. That's why he didn't uh, no, hear. No, but, no, no. All I'm know, saying uh, is he. You see, here's the thing, Phil. Here's why he's a lying sack of shit. And let me explain this to you. Yeah. If you tell the truth. You don't have to remember what the truth is. You know what the truth is, and you're consistent with the truth. But when the you're lying, is, wait a minute, let me finish. When you're yeah. lying all the time, you have to remember what the last lie was you told to make everything consistent with the lies, and you're going to fuck up occasionally. Yeah. Well, he fucks he, up all the time. Yeah, but, you know, he should have he should have said, I just banged two of the hottest women uh, you know, and oh, yeah. uh, he, you he know, I didn't want anybody to know about it. Well, I see. Yeah, uh, Jeff, you had your hand up. Yeah, I think his uh, strategy is to lie consistently with different answers, and therefore he never has to remember anything because he can create something different tomorrow. And and if people ever take him seriously. They're not serious. But there are people who do. You look, you're looking well, at one of them right that. now. You're looking at Phil Meyer. Well, this speculation yeah. is getting us nowhere. Let's just sit back and wait to hear 
what the wisdom of Rudy Giuliani is tomorrow morning. <laughs> he'll clear it all up and tell us the truth is not the truth, yeah. and he'll tell us what we're supposed to believe. Yeah, that's that's it. right. That's right. Yeah. I agree with you. Why are we sitting here bantering about Stupid. this? Stupid. When, in fact, we could wait for Ju Ju he'll Ju tell us uh, what the Rudy truth Giuliani is. Trump, Trump was just doing what Giuliani wanted, stop and frisk. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Stop and frisk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> stop and frisk. I also like the way uh, your boy, your boy, my boy, your yeah. boy, um, uh, you know, they had this murder out in, where was it? Iowa? Iowa. Iowa, yeah. With you the, know, I was beginning to suspect Scott Boddicker. He's been going to Ida, Ida, Iowa quite a bit. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, we and don't, at yeah. least this potential illegal alien that his boss oh. says, no, I didn't hire an illegal. No, but but he, he, here's the point. You've got Trump saying publicly uh, he was an illegal alien and all but convicting the guy in the press. Do you know that that is that it, a good attorney could maybe get that case thrown out just on that alone? Oh, is, is that speculative? No, that's not being speculative. You don't comment on these sort of things for fear that, you, especially being president, that what you had that's to right. say could be considered prejudicial and he can't be tried by any jury in the United States. Am I right? Yeah. I, not necessarily. Is that, is that a right assumption? Uh, it, no. It, the argument could be made. Yeah. He's got to, you know, they have to have an unbiased jury. And what you're saying is that every juror that they pick could possibly be tainted by uh, Trump's statement. But the chances of that happening are pretty slim because, you know, the jury pool uh, is, uh, you know, is... Is people that want five bucks a day. Well, they say, you know, they'd have to ask, did you hear no, what the No, that's not fair because I, I, I proudly serve on a jury every time I'm asked to. So I don't think that's fair to, to paint the a jury like this a all the time. Alex, yes. how many times have you served on a jury? Uh, never. All right. And why? Why? Well, early on, they wouldn't take me even if I was summoned. Because I was on the air, because I had a radio program, and I, you know, I was just, they didn't want that on mm -hmm. a jury. Uh, mm -hmm. When they stopped, started getting a little less fussy about that, uh, I yeah. went down and I sat there and I went through the whole process and they did jury selection. And uh, I, I found that it was a case that I didn't want to be part of because I didn't want to sit in judgment on a drug dealer. All right, uh, and and I told the judge that I consider drugs a medical problem and not a, uh, a, a criminal act. And he said, uh, he said you're qualified. Get up on the stand. He, he said, should have. He said he said <laughs> next. Um, yeah. On that same panel, another guy got out of the uh, out of it uh, uh, by saying that he had a movie to make in Cuba, and so they let Steven Soderbergh off. Okay, and as we're walking out, he looks at me and he says, that was a really cheap excuse to try and get out of, out of jury <laughs> duty. And I'm looking at him going, yeah, Cuba? You know, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Well, uh, I understand what Albert's saying, that uh, you don't want to disparage uh, uh, juries, but this is an Iowa jury, and uh, that means it's mostly Republican. And uh, if... Since they are Republicans, you oh. don't think that they're listening to what Trump says anyway. Otherwise, they wouldn't have voted for well, him. Well, you see, he didn't get up and, and say, you know, and, and it turned out it was a, one of those uh, uh, allegedly a, uh, um, a what do you illegal, call, illegal yeah. alien. But he didn't also say, and by the way, that guy who killed his uh, wife and two kids, he was a white Christian. Those damn Christians. You know, hey, he didn't that, say that. That was, a, that was a Scott Peterson move. And uh, oh, he was is that even how, better is that, than is that Scott how Peterson. he excuse it? Is a Scott Peterson? No, but move? He, he was <laughs> nobody here gives Peterson enough credit. I always say. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know. Thank you, Phil. Sometimes wouldn't you want to kill your wife? <laughs> you know, sometimes they just don't <laughs> shut up, right, Phil? Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> wow. Now that case is, you know, that that one's sad. Just uh, really I sad. think he's got a uh, good uh, a good deal for uh, mental capacity. You know that. Uh, that well, he'll I mean, never see a jail. It, it depends on in that state how much they how much they allow that kind of defense to be used. You know, some states don't take a liking to mental incompetency or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. mean, look, if you're going to go into a court of law and you're going to say, 
uh, well, Your Honor, this guy was a temporary insanity, or he was crazy, or whatever. Uh, well, come on. If one human being kills another human being, he's got to be crazy. You know? Am Not I necessarily. right? Necessarily, well, no, could be a Republican. You, you, you know, gonna, you're talking to Phil now, right? Yeah. Are you, are you, <laughs> are you going to say that killing somebody is a totally rational act? Uh, at times. No, no what see, do you mean at times. You see, I told you, you're talking to Phil. <laughs> well, you know, I believe in lex talionis, which is an eye for an eye. But cops are exempt uh, from uh, from lex talionis. And uh, sometimes you have to kill somebody in the. Uh, Wait, but you're in, changing in the whole subject. I am well, not you talking. Asked me I'm a not talking question. about the, about you as a cop or as a. Well, rent. you asked me. You well, said, you were. Hey, you is, were it, is it okay to rationally you, kill someone? You were really a rent a cop. And I said yes. You're really a rent a cop. <laughs> but the fact <laughs> is no. that we weren't talking about that. We were talking about a person. Who just oh. in cold blood kills another human being? Are you going to call that about someone else? Are you going to make? Are you going to call that person <laughs> sane? Uh, maybe, but uh, you know he could have uh, he could have done it Still, because. Why don't you just once say, Alex, you've got a good point? Well, you know, you asked you asked originally if I. Uh, could kill someone in uh, and uh, feel that it's a uh, legitimate thing, and I'm telling you that no. yes, I could, but maybe this guy well, can't. Well, I could kill you, and nobody would hold it against me. No, all you got to do you is know. push the button that says yeah. "hang up." <laughs> you know. So, uh, hello, uh, hello there, uh, Patrick. Patrick. Look who's here. Hello, Patrick. How are you? I am. So excited to see you. I have a boner the size of a big cucumber. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I'm sorry I can't say the same, but I'm very excited to see you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We missed you on, uh, what was it, uh, Monday or when we, When was I here? Well, you were here last Thursday. Last Thursday. He, had, he had his fudge packers yes, to watch. Yes, yes. Yeah, right, uh -huh. and I'll be doing the same thing Friday. Yeah, is it the fudge packers again? That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. it doesn't count, but it's still football, and, well, if it's football, i got to watch it. That's right, yes. Good for you. Uh, yeah. Do you watch football? Not a bit. Not no. a bit. Not me either. I, fo either. I follow I follow the standings, but I don't care about the games anymore. Really? And, and, Patrick, unless... do, you ever, do you ever uh, go, to, go to the game? I have, yeah. I, I, no, I don't I mean, anymore. Patrick. I have never been to a football game in my life. Not a surprise at all. But, but I've been to quite a few baseball games. Yeah, but you don't know how football is played, so why should you go? I have no idea yeah. how it's played, so and, that's, and, that's and people problem. have tried to explain it to me. I've had famous <laughs> football players try to explain it to me because mm -hmm. they can't believe I don't know how it's played. It's a very complex game. Well, I'm, no, what, I'm not it, surprised. But they start out, whenever anybody tries to explain it to me, they immediately lose me with first down. You know, well, what's a down? You know, I mean, I don't, they use do, this do, terminology. Do, do, do you know what a set is in tennis? Yes. And why, what, what would you, how would you explain wait, a set? Wait a minute, I don't know what a set is. Well, see, tennis. that's that's what you have to figure out. There are different kind of uh, separations in, in sports, you, you, and, and the down yeah. is, is you, for. You've heard about Miami, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I've heard about your For sports. How there. could you not if you know you? <laughs> Ray Ratto was a sports writer in San Francisco. San when he, Francisco. When, when, I he, met him. Uh -huh. when he heard that I had uh, 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 won a uh, an Emmy for sports, uh, wanted me to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you know they they feed you before the uh, uh, Golden State Warrior games. So because I had photographed a number of the warrior uh, practices just before the games, I got to go into the area where. Uh, all the personnel was, and Ray Ratto was always there and always eating. Oh and, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and and he looked like he was always yeah. eating. Yeah. Oh, he never missed. Do you a, know that you know, uh, we did we did a show from my bedroom. <laughs> we did a, a, one of my shows from my bedroom, and I yeah. was I called it my bed show. I didn't want to get out of bed, and I was going to stay in bed. Okay, yeah. and he sat on the edge of the bed and broke it. It just <laughs> collapsed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was. Uh, I like shooting those games. Uh, you know, you, yeah. you're behind, you're down on the court during the game. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, we've been joined by Brian Ludwig, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Brian? Not too bad. Not too bad. 
You don't know Brian. No, I don't think I do know Brian. No, no. Hello, Brian. But he will, he will warm the cockles of your heart. Uh, He's a warm sure. and fuzzy person, right, Brian? Yeah, so long as uh, so long as I don't get agitated. Like, for instance, <laughs> you you know Phil's feelings about Donald Trump. I do, yeah. Uh, well, Brian's are even more warm and fuzzy. Give him an idea of how you feel about Donald Trump, Brian. I mean, aside from the fact that I've been on record on this program twice as saying that I'd love to see him sustain a massive stroke while televised on C-SPAN yeah. or NBC live. And don't yeah. don't forget the sexual part. And would you like to see him shit his <laughs> pants while it's happening? Well, the whole nine yards. That would be frosting uh, on the cake, wouldn't it? You have to hear frosting it, on the pants. Can we say? Can we see Melania shit her pants while that happens? <laughs> Well, that. Is, is that your kind of thing? <laughs> Me and Danny Kay, we have the same. The was same Danny thing. Kay? Was Danny Kay into that? Did you know, no, 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 Danny Thomas. I'm Danny sorry, Thomas. Danny Thomas. Yeah. Right. He had the oh, the table. Coffee table thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I had a friend, Karen Babbage, who was a comic, and she got hired as a writer for like uh, Danny Thomas's last TV show, where he played like a doctor. Okay. You remember that one? I think so. Yeah. And. Um, she, uh, they said, uh, Mr. Thomas would like to see you. And she said, okay. He said, he's not in his office right now, but just go in and sit down. And she went and sat down, and right in front of her was a glass coffee oh, table. Oh, boy. <laughs> and she went, I don't know if this is true or not. Yeah. You know. Make room for daddy. Ma- right. No. <laughs> that make before, make uh, doo-doo uh, for yeah, daddy. Know, right? That was one of his shows. Yeah. yeah. That was before toe cameras. Uh, that was before yeah. <laughs> tow cameras. <laughs> before what? What's a tow camera? What's a tow camera? You know those cameras that the people are putting on their toes now to walk up to girls and look up their dresses. Oh, oh, well, the upskirt camera. Upskirt, oh. yeah, okay. There's yeah. a special aren't name those... for them. I didn't know, Albert. Kevin, Kevin. you. No, that's, uh, that's aren't Kevin. those selfie sticks or something? Well, you, Kevin, uh, you can't. Would hear, this you can't be hold mirrored shoes two point oh then? What's that? Would this be mirrored shoes two point oh then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. probably yeah. Or 5.0. Well, <laughs> HD. Yeah. I mean, I've only heard it was called upskirt videos. I don't know any more. No, that, you don't so. know anything. No, you, you, knew, you knew all about it, Albert. Tell yeah, us. I just, I just heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a category on RedTube? Well, they, they are against the law, you know. Yeah. yeah I mean, they are. They're, they're literally against the and by law. By the way, it's a category on every tube now. It's not, <laughs> not very difficult well, to find. Yeah, but, but the, I'm, Kevin, I'm willing to bet something. I'm willing to bet that the, the, the high definition and the detail is so minute and, and, and precise that you'll if, if the bitch has crabs, you'll actually see them crawling on her cunt hairs. You know what? I knew you were going to say that. You know, he always goes there, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just encouraged it. You know? I, I'm just glad he's not a Trump supporter. <laughs> yeah. uh, Why are there well, more women on, on the show? Time, I'm more naive years. <laughs> well, I used to be a supporter of George W. Bush and, and the war in Iraq, but and then I woke up. Mm. Really, did, wait, did you, were you really? Were you really? Oh yeah, yeah. The early 2000. What? Why did yeah, you think? That, why do you think I the war war in Iraq was a good idea? <laughs> oh. you, oh, no, but what was better. your what was your thinking then, though? What was it? What was my thinking? Yeah. Uh, ni- the naive thinking of an early twenty, late teen something asshole. Uh, we, that. Uh, yeah, there was self interest. There was self interest involved, but that uh, the greater good was being accomplished here. The spreading of uh, the, the, the the spreading of something more democratic, which yeah. You know, well, I, I agreed with Bush's fight uh, of uh, some terrorism support, and uh, Saddam Hussein was paying okay. suicide bombers to go into Israel and kill innocent people. Matter of fact, I think it was twenty five thousand dollars to their family. Do you know that that's a, a, wait a minute? Do, wait a minute. Hold on a second, it's Phil. Guilty. Phil, do you know? Do you know that is fact? Uh, well, it's been reported. Wait a minute. Can you, uh, can for, you a, for a long time? Reported by yes. who? And can you prove it? Well, I, I tell you what. For you, I will go to Snopes, and I will see <laughs> if it's fact. Well, you don't know if Snopes that's is That's the even... kind of guy I am. Oh really? Well, you know, I, I read the Israeli papers and things like that, and that's uh, oh, that's a great place to get. Uh, well, hey, they're the most affected by the uh, by the suicide bombers. You don't think that, let, that let me that, check it out. You don't for think you. That, you don't think that right. Netanyahu is lying? There's a lying 
fuck. No, I like Netanyahu. I know you probably do. Yeah. Uh, let me, let I want to. Uh, I want to take stuff. away his Jew card. <laughs> I want to. I wish there were excommunication in the in the uh, Jewish religion because there are certain people I think we should get out of there. I'm not. I'm not even going to get in this conversation. Yeah. Well, because you're not Jewish. So. Not, well, well my even wife if he Jewish. wasn't Jewish, he could get into it. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what this uh, Snopes is. Uh, so, what do we want to know? Oh, are suicide bom- were suicide bombers uh, deployed or paid by uh, Saddam Hussein? Saddam right? Hussein. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh huh. And it's good. Uh, it's going to take me. And over you can get a copy of a blank check while you're at it. Too. Yeah. And over <laughs> its over its Snopes. Uh, yeah. he, they're now looking, and somebody says, "Ah, Phil's online again. Here he comes with another <laughs> one of his asshole things." He wants to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what what did you find? Anything? Uh, I found that the spell uh, changer takes Sodom and changes it to Daddy. <laughs> That's you know. So I'm typing it in, and uh, how did you spell Sodom? Uh, well, I was close enough. S a d d u m. Is it e m? No. A m. Two a's, I think. S A D A A M. Yes, A-D-A-M. I thought it was two D's and an A and an M. Who's saying? Who's who's saying? But you can just put in the word Obama, okay? <laughs> now, Hussein's being changed to business. Uh, it's going to take. What a are you using? What kind, are you, of, what kind of thing we'll is this? Just leave that out. Uh, I'm using my my iPhone. Oh well, you. you it's I, probably using Siri or something to come up with that shit. Yeah. It's just terrible. That's terrible. Because I could put in S- Sodom here and, you know. So, anyway. Well, we, we, at least we're keeping Phil involved in yeah. something so he can't well, talk. Can give me the shiny object. He's busy now. <laughs> He's busy now. Let's talk about him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Patrick, <laughs> in the meantime, give me the straightforward on, on, on your, your take on, because I haven't spoken to you in maybe a year, maybe longer than that. But, but what's your take on the news of the last couple of days? As a, as a, as a, a, a very logical conservative, what's yeah, going what's gonna happen in no. this administration? Well, he doesn't like Trump. To no, be I don't, I don't yeah. care whether he likes him or not. I just want to know, as a logical person who happens to be a conservative, what you think is going to shake down here. Well, what, let's let's find happening? out how logical he is exactly. Uh, uh, Go ahead. <laughs> I like his logic. Here, here's the thing: the Manafort thing. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Okay. Regarding Trump, um, it, it 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 sounds like all it all personal bullshit, and then the only thing that I see as a possible <coughs> critical issue is Cohen with the payoff mm-hmm. on Daniels. Um, and everything well, well, else. Also, also here, the Karen, the Karen, uh, what's her name, McDougal, and, 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 and the Playboy yeah. Bunny, um, because. I don't, I mean, the initial thing was set out <laughs> for Russian collusion. Right. Mm-hmm. And this sounds to me a lot like what Ken Starr started out yes, with. of course. And then ended up with Monica Lewinsky. This sounds like we started with a wide net. There's nothing to find on Russian collusion. So the only thing we can find is some shit wrong with Manafort and his personal stuff. Well, but 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 no, but keep it consider that Mueller has not come out with anything now. So these are just ancillary things that that are happening now. But you know, and it's it's hard to predict whether Mueller has anything or whether he has nothing, but considering the things that we've seen just now, just the indictments that have come out and the people who have who have already uh, uh, pled guilty um, what do you think? This is going to put a stink on well, Trump. Is this going to is this going to hurt him? His presidency? Will he leave? Will he not? Will they, Will Congress say fuck you? You're out. You're a, you're a dickhead, or you're you're untouched by this? The, the only way that he's going to have any issues is if the Democrats take the uh, the, the Senate, and then mm-hmm. they or the House, whichever one can impeach him. Uh-huh. Uh, I think they have to both impeach him for him to be indicted. Cool. Yeah, that's only going to get but just the article from impeachment only on the uh, Cohen thing with mm-hmm. paying off 
Stormy Daniels and uh, the Playboy Bunny because it would come out of the campaign fund. I think that's the only political issue he has. Well, to, well to there, there is one more possibly. Uh, is that because uh, uh, he because what's his name? Because Cohen wants to cooperate as much as possible. He may actually have some information on those meetings at Trump Tower. And um, so it might Manafort. And one of the reasons they went after Manafort, I mean, obviously they went after him on stuff he actually did. You know, he did do this illegal shit. Uh, but uh, they went after him because uh, they want him, you know, if he wants to make a deal, uh, tell us something we need to know. You know? I don't, I don't think he's a rat, but... Uh, uh, I, I Wait a minute, um, what are you what are you using mo- what are you using mob talk for? Like who, who, Trump who, uses mob talk because like I grew that. up in New York and you don't rat. Who is not you know, a rat? Who are you, you talking don't, about? You don't rat. Uh, Manafort. Somebody kills somebody and you know they did. You don't ta- you don't uh, turn them in. You don't uh, rat. You don't say yeah, I saw him do it. I was with him when he did it. And uh, he's well, in, in the capacity of a cop, yes. In the capacity of me, no. I, uh, I don't yeah. rat. Yeah, but because but, I uh, love the way Trump ta- uses all this thug talk, you know. Yeah. Well, Saddam Hussein rewards suicide bombers' families, and this is ABC News, uh, oh, January second. Oh, oh, oh. uh, yeah. Uh, each what? each is handed a check, a gift mm-hmm. from Saddam Hussein. Families of suicide bombers uh-huh. get twenty five thousand dollars. Well, that's not each. like he was paying people to be suicide bombers. You said well, he was, was paying. Gift. No, you said he was paying people to be suicide. I bombers. said he was paying their family, and that's exactly yeah, no, what you this didn't said. say. No, their no you didn't say that. No, you didn't. You didn't yeah, oh yeah, that. no, you I, didn't. I no, you didn't. He gave oh, twenty five thousand dollars to Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, you can't walk this back. Bombers. You can't huh? walk this back, Mr. I, I, Trump. I can walk it back because I'll listen to it later. But uh, <laughs> the uh, the deal is, I said he was paying. $25,000 to the families of suicide bombers, and that's exactly what this well, ABC News article says. Because they didn't and have, they didn't have an income earner that. anymore. It's a very nice thing of him to do. Yes, Patrick. Oh, yeah. Patrick. Um, I just wanted to follow up with Albert. Uh, you're right. We, we, we don't necessarily know everything that um, uh, Mueller may have. We don't know, know anything Mueller may have. Mueller, but, Mueller, but, Mueller's been very, very quiet, you know. But, but the thing is, what we have to consider is, especially with Cohen, I don't think he has anything. Because I don't I think, think Trump would have come out with the tweet that he did uh, overnight saying that if you want a good lawyer, I wouldn't go after him. And I think that all of my Democrat and liberal friends on Facebook who were jerking each other off yesterday <laughs> all afternoon and all night talking about wow. it Christmas and this is it and floodgates have opened on the swamp. I think they might be ejaculating just a bit prematurely. <laughs> and well, excuse me, wait. Patrick. I already soiled it, myself, and now you're telling me I shouldn't have? Except the ones, except uh, Patrick, except the ones that lost their prostate. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> all right. is, I think all of us, including Phil, we all need to just wait because we don't know what's out there. And all of the people on the left that are jerking each other off and excited, you know what they may be getting? Just a hand job. And that's it. And just the same on my side, you know, the right may end up with nothing as well because we may lose the house we may lose the senate and then we're gonna have jack shit hey don't be little a nice hand job by the way yeah don't don't put that down a good hand job is pretty good (laughs) yeah a good hand job is good but you know what i think everybody on the left is looking for a full-on fuck that they're not gonna get they're not gonna get they're delusional Delusion. Well, I, 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 is, is a good thing. A hand job is a good thing unless the hands are cold. <laughs> well, it's, it's good. Gonna... It's good whether my hands are cold or warm. It doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, the point the point I'm making is that, that uh, you, you know you're right, Patrick, on several levels. No, not time to go jumping up and down. Yes, Jeff. I, I want to agree with with Pat that. I think uh, 
if we think about Clinton and, and the way it ended up with him, I mean, they were trying to kill this guy, and yeah. all they find out is that, uh, that uh, he had sex with uh, some woman without even have, having great sex. Only <laughs> shit, shitty sex. <laughs> With kind of a little chubby. Well, in, in the case so, in, in in the case of Karen uh, McDougal, that went on for about nine months. You know, that was a full on affair. She, she says it went on for nine months, but <laughs> oh, we, all Phil. she can talk good about point, is the Phil. Is good, good point. Good, good point. Gotta, you've got to remember, good truth point. isn't truth, right? Yeah, truth, truth is isn't not, truth. Truth is not truth. Yeah. But if it's truth, then it's truth, and but it's not truth sometimes. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes. So, what are you doing, Rudy? What are you doing, Rudy? Right, yeah. you, that, you got something in your teeth, good. Albert? That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> because, you he, know, I, uh, I thought that, you know, okay, this girl spun a pretty good tale, no, and she was having uh, second thoughts about <laughs> yeah, her Yeah, she spun her tail. She definitely and, spun her tail. Yeah, and she knew more about the driver that took her to the place where she would have a liaison or two uh, with Trump. And uh, maybe she was uh, infatuated with this guy for nine months. But, I don't, you know, hey, look, if she was giving it up to me, I would keep her a lot longer than nine months. But, uh, you know, there may be she may not be all there. Uh, and she's having her you know religious. You know what you're epiphany. being? You're being a sexist, sexist fucking pig. Because you're I am, thinking, yes, wait, I am wait a no, you're 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 automatically you're automatically <laughs> taking what is essentially the victim, and you're turning it around and making her the aggressor. Yeah, well, she's the yeah. one that yeah. has come out and seems to need to make her story known for her own uh, well-being, and uh, so she has now uh, become the accuser in this. And not the victim. I saw the interview with yes. her. I thought she was fully creditable, and I thought she was a decent person. Okay, I, I thought that you couldn't take her, your eyes off her rack. In the in the That's Me true, Too era, how dare you? No, it was easy for me to take my eyes off her rack because she pro proclaimed that she was a born again Christian, and so I ain't touching that stuff. <laughs> yes, Patrick. She also <laughs> said that, that, that Trump was ugly as sin naked too. So, yeah, no, no she uh, did she? <laughs> I didn't. Well, hear she that. said he was kind of disgusting. Draw that conclusion. Yeah, she said she was in love with the guy. Yeah, I, I think that she is, you know, in oh, a, in, oh, a, in, a oh, in La La Land. Uh, I see. Okay, then how come they wanted to get they they had the National Enquirer pay her one hundred fifty thousand, of which they only paid her seventy five, uh, to shut her up? You know, Maybe I she just didn't it, ju it just occurs to me that if this guy Trump wants to really make billions and billions, he should bottle this formula. <laughs> that get women in love with him. What was he? Had three wives, and and then this woman says he was uh, she was in love with him. What is that? What's the secret there? Because I don't see anything and redeeming there. Dollars. And forget Straight about Jack his Winter. politics. It, 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 you know what Big it is? Jackson it was Inc. the Trump fragrance. Whatever it was. <laughs> no, it, it was three and a half to four and a half billion dollars. That's what it was. Well, it, 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 even it even with that woman and Melania, after the first couple, you didn't realize. Wait a minute, maybe there's something not really great about this guy. But uh, but they still fall in love with him. Where's the, what's right. that secret potion? Well, that's what'll make you a billionaire. He's 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 perfect uh, perfect example of say, of the saying that uh, a guy who even has a gorgeous wife will still fuck around. You know, uh, it's Trump love potion number nine. They're uh, bottling that okay. instead of the steaks. Yeah, boy. You know that. You know at least Harvey Weinstein. We understand he had to impose himself upon women. Because no matter how much money he had, he was still a disgusting human being. But I don't understand it with Trump. I mean, the only thing that I negative that I felt with Karen McDougal when I saw her being interviewed was, yeah, but you fell in love with this fucking pig, you know? <laughs> uh, hey, you know, three and a half to four and a half billion dollars. Well, uh, maybe yeah, she likes maybe, being grabbed maybe, by the pussy. Maybe I've yet yeah. to see it. I, I put the challenge out to Trump when I was at Sirius. Come in here right. and put a million dollars on the table just to prove, uh, or there are a billion dollars on the table, just to prove to me that you've got a billion dollars. Okay. You want it in twenties? Twenties, I don't <laughs> care. Just pile it up here, and we'll and, and and you know we'll we'll believe you when you said you counted. Uh, didn't I do that? Yes. Yeah. Or I think I just asked about a couple of million. Yeah, I think so. You know, I said prove well, to us you've got money. I said you don't have Forbes. money. 
Forbes had an article two years ago stating all his properties and what was owed on them. And uh, I believe he's a private corporation. And uh, Mar-a-Lago, I think, is owed, owned outright. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's, you know, so By when they him? total... Yeah, when they totaled all of those things up, it was uh, like three or four billion dollars. Well, that was a few years. I even years. sent you that, that article. That was a few years ago. You know, you can lose that three or four billion in just a matter of months if you're not playing your money right. And I think that Trump was on the edge of bankruptcy, and that's why he ran for president. Because you get a nice pile of cash from running for president. Because mm. all the contributions that are made to you after the election is over, you can keep, you keep for it. yourself. That's how well, Al Sh- wait a minute, that's how Al- to- that's why Al Sharpton ran for president one year was to make the money. I'm not I'm serious about this. I, I, I believe that those election laws have changed and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe well, that then you're you wrong because you never money right. on yourself that you can use it to donate to other campaigns. So you could support other campaigns All with that money. All I know is money. Al Sharpton kept the money. Okay. Uh, maybe that was prior to the election law change. Uh, but uh, now they can't spend it on themselves. They have to, uh, go, you know. Go find me that election ch- law. That'll keep me busy again. So <laughs> me, baby, while we talk is about it. Sh- is it shiny? While we talk about adult <laughs> stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, un- unlike election laws. No, I agree with but, Patrick. You know, I've, s- I've said from the very beginning, those people, uh, I used to tell uh, Jack Bishop's uh, pal, Amy, that if you're thinking yeah. you're going to impeach him, you're nuts. You know, I said, it take, you, you don't just flick your hand and impeach somebody. Now, you can chase them out of office, which is what we did with Nixon. Okay? Mm-hmm. But, you, you know, uh, to, to impeach him, hell, look how long it took. It took uh, three years of investigations by the uh, commission that he had uh, to go get Clinton. And then when, if the, when push came to shove and he was impeached, he was never convicted. So well, that we're whole talking thing, about the House. Sixty million Democrat. dollars later, we still have the same president. Okay. Now, is the is the idea that the Senate is going to uh, go to a Democratic majority as well as the House, or just the House? Well, the Senate uh, could easily become a, a, a. It's only a matter of one senator, I think, either way. Already, from what yeah. they have now. Yeah, but if the Senate doesn't turn and only the House turns, uh, and I'm not uh, what elections are up for grabs right now and whether there's a possibility of losing the Senate. I don't but think isn't so. The, but I don't think there's talking a possi- to the mic. Yeah. I don't think there's a possibility possibility of losing the Senate at this point. That's that's very um, that's a very narrow margin. Right. So, so where is the impeachment uh, process? Where does that the take place? The impeachment takes place in the uh, in the Senate, I believe. No, okay, no, no so excuse me. No, in the Congress, and then right. and First then the, the Senate. The then the Congress. Senate holds the trial to find out if he's guilty or not. Okay. All right. Yeah. Impeachment is only a uh, an, uh, an indictment. An indictment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then it goes to the Senate for the trial. And you remember when it went for the trial, and you had the. Uh, the head of the Supreme Court there with his robes, being because he's the judge in that particular case, and hmm. uh, and look, you had Clinton. Uh, it it never wound up in uh, him being sent, you know, shoved out of office. Uh, right. So what the hell? And that may yeah. that may be what ha- takes place uh, if uh, the Democrats take over the House. Well, they say another option is that there will be a sealed indictment uh, uh, created by the Mueller investigation and that uh, they'll let him play out his four years in office. And as soon as he steps out of office, they're going to get him. So, mm, yeah, which is more likely, I think, than an impeachment and an indictment and throwing him out during the presidency. That's that's very unlikely. Yes. Yes, Patrick. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Over with once he's out of office. That is more likely. Yeah. But then again, it depends on what they have. Right. I mean, you know, I I still I I don't believe Cohen has shit on him. Um, I I think Manafort. There's nothing there because the whole idea with Manafort, that was supposed to be the Russian collusion thing. Right. And I 
Nothing. What? I don't believe that they'll ever prove that there was any collusion. Where Collusion's not a crime. No. No, no but, but yeah. conspiracy <laughs> is. Conspiracy and obstruction is. of justice. And obstruction of justice. So they. But they, wasn't Mueller? They're, mandated Mueller, they're to not find trying collusion? to. You know, but the thing is, the president keeps saying there was no collusion, there was no collusion. Collusion isn't a crime. That's not what they're going to charge him with. They're going to charge him with conspiracy. Or treason outright. Or treason outright. Collusion isn't well, even a word in the law. I mean, it's, it's right. It's not even. It's not even in the Mo law. Most of the people that are talking about this is saying uh, they're saying that they can't seem to find any conspiracy. You know, you know there's guys that want to make conspiracy theories about all of this, but th th nothing's adding up to that. I know. I heard that on Hannity myself last night. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank exactly. you very much. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick. I, I agree with Bill on that. I, I think people are, are reaching so far and trying to knit together stuff that just isn't there right now. That not that it won't happen, but I'll tell you what, after two years, this is beginning to look like a Ken Starr investigation. Well, Ken which, Starr went on for three years. Right, and it just... It just Mueller, Mueller, Mueller's only uh, Mueller's only been what about a year actually, it hasn't been two years, it hasn't been even close to two years. I think they're dealing with a different kind of group of people too. I mean, the the Trump people know how to hide stuff. The Trump people know how to shuffle it around and that sort of thing. It's probably but, making but it a little you, more we difficult. We also don't wow. know the, what what kind of picture Mueller <laughs> has drawn so far. He may yeah, be seeing, we don't know anything. He may be I seeing mean, a larger right, picture Patrick. from all the information he has. Yeah. Listen, yeah. If, if, if Mueller goes you're on right for on three years time. and we get to see pee-pee tapes because of it, it's all I worth think it. worthwhile. Absolutely yeah. worthwhile. Oh, these girls, are pe these girls are peeing on the president. I love it. It's worthwhile. Yeah. Three, or if three just, years. How about if it, dossier? Wait a minute. Was, and I don't care who the president is. If, he, if, if he peed on them, would that be okay yeah, with you? Yeah, that's still good. Oh, yeah, oh, that's still oh, good. Okay. That's entertaining. P, P is it's P. Fair. <laughs> yeah, P is P. Yes, Patrick. If he's peeing on them, <laughs> you really want to see his dick? What's that? You really want to see his dick? Oh, I want to see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see his dick. Well, I want to see his little shrivel up grape, I mean. grape, uh, grape sized balls. I want to see the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see, I want to see the, the, I want to see the comb over like over what? his balls. That little blonde <laughs> comb over on his balls. I want to see no, the whole thing. I, I think at his age, the balls are usually <laughs> hanging pretty low. Well, then it'll be a pretty big fucking comb over, won't it? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Do you think the curtains match the drapes or the carpet? The drapes match. The of course, course, he's a millionaire. He's going to have them color that just the same color as his hair. Yes, it does ah. match. But to begin with, there's no hair up there. Well, there is hair, you but know, not wonder, on his bald spot. I wonder how long it takes them every morning to do his hair. Good half every hour. Every day, either. his hair gets shorter. Have you noticed that? You yeah. know, if you look at pictures of when he was a candidate, at, or on the uh, uh, that TV show, and then you look at pictures of him now. You can see that his well, his hair is getting shorter, uh, and uh, every, every day. Have you not, you haven't noticed that? No, I've, no, I've noticed. I've noticed I've no, during I've, his speech, he was touching it funny. Like, is it still there? I, I noticed that they're they're they they've given it a better trim than he had. Mm -hmm. You know, but it still looks god awful. I mean, if a wind gust comes along, he's dead. You know. Uh, well, you know, I mean, if I if I could have that much, I I'd, I'd, I'd go for it. You know? Really, you yeah. could do it. You could do it if you had a good hairdresser who knew how to wisp that thing around the top of your head. You know, get just, some just get some knitting needles in there and crochet a hair piece. You know, this is thirty five hundred hair plugs. You know? Really? Wow! Yeah. You really got your money's worth. There's nothing didn't left you? to donate, though. Yeah. Stick your head in a bag of Cheetos. And, what, and, and wait a minute, what did you think the plugs were going to do for you? Well, uh, 15 years ago when I had it done, they filled in the areas that uh, I still had hair. Did it get you laid any more than before you got the hair plugs done? No. Okay, you know, then, the fun, then the that's it. The is, only reason you did it was to get laid and admit it. Well, well I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I When I first got divorced, uh, I went on Match.com. And I had people actually write me and say, no baldies. And you know, so I went out and got hair plugs. 
and really? didn't make a that difference. Was, then they said no Jews. Uh, <laughs> well, that's nice. To begin with, I, I one time I, I actually asked women this on the air, and I got calls about it. I asked women, how do, what do you think of guys who are bald? And, and a, a large, large amount of the women out there Liked bald men, says Baldy. Yeah, you look like Telly Savalas. <laughs> no, and, but I mean, uh, who were who were some sex symbols back in the day? Yule Brenner, Telly yeah. Savalas. I mean, being bald has never been a problem. It's how you wear the baldness, <laughs> you know. And and uh, you know, my friend Bob Schimmel, while when he was still alive, told me just go get your hair cut really short. He says I call it preemptive baldness. It looks much better than if you try to get long hair in the back and so on. I mean, I had that Danny DeVito look for a while, you know? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a nice look. Yes, uh, yes, Brian. I was just going to say, yeah, there was some vanity associated with it, and I can understand. But, uh, you know, uh, another case in point that dovetails with this is, uh, you know, men who dye their hair, uh, yeah. if it's all gray. Especially if, in rare cases, when you're in your 30s and you're, when you're and even in your 20s, in some cases, um, there's a YouTube host who has this problem. It is a full head of gray hair, dyes it black. But also, even if you're like in your 50s, pushing 60, and you're going for a job interview, there's a practical, there's a practical aspect to that as well. You know, to make yourself look younger, and more a, more presentable to the interviewer. Guy, men who wear toupees and men who dye their hair look like they dye their hair yes. and they wear two pairs. Yes. By the way, there is a fuck on our uh, on our chat for this. A thing. fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you mean you an know, You know some Kevin, American Patriot? Yep, I've been watching him. What's the latest here? Mueller needs to look at Hillary if he wants to find collusion. Lock her up. Been there, done that, long time gone, goodbye. You fucking piece of shit, American Patriot. Lock her up, American you know, Patriot. I mean, I don't know. Why, don't you, why don't you deal with what's guy. here today? Let's lock him up, okay? Yes. I, I think you're right. He's a Russian. Uh, Russian I, I think he's a Russian. <laughs> I think he's a Russian. Uh, coming to YouTube to try and, and yeah, you're American Patriot, you're a fucking commie. We know that. Yes, Patrick. It's SG. No, not SG. No, it's not it's SG. SG. No, it's not SG. <laughs> SG would just come on here and say it, you know. Yeah, yeah. He, liked to play, he liked to to toy with the incognito with, with the sunglasses and the hat. And yeah. that he's not who he is. I well, mean, he doesn't have a fucking name. And well, he, get, he gets us with the <laughs> unwashed masses, and yeah, uh, you know. Well, I don't even believe that he's a conservative. I think he comes on and he plays one just yeah. to fuck with everybody. I, I really believe that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, who's this? American Patriot? Uh, no, no. I, 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 he's a Skype troll. His name is SG, and he calls. Oh, no, no, maybe down there. Uh, I, you're yeah, troll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, I think the American Patriot is a uh, is a Russian. I think they're trying to invade our little oh. thing here. To we've got plenty of. I, I finally saw the chat. We've got plenty oh, really? of homegrown American trolls who are far worse than anything Russia could ever yeah, produce. Yeah, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, I, I, I block him, but fuck it, I don't want to block anybody. You know, because of you their opinion. About, because of their opinion, I'd block them if they were, you know, being disruptive. Yeah, what? Well, all he's saying is his point here. I'm looking. I'm looking at what he says, and I don't see it being so bad. You know, he's just he's making a point. He says uh, Mueller doesn't have anything. No, and, you know, I mean, needs, if this was Mueller a needs to look at Hillary a bum, if he wants to that. find collusion. What kind of collusion could Hillary possibly have been involved? She in? paid. She and the DNC paid for the uh, tr uh, for the dossier. Along with the FBI, what's proven what, that it's what's, uh, what's wrong a phony? with that? What's, no, Pfizer, it hasn't been, pro Pfizer, it hasn't been proven it's a phony. It has not been proven it's a phony. Well, phony. you don't listen to Hannity. <laughs> 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 or Tucker. Yeah. How about and Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, Patrick. Yeah, uh, at this point, I don't care if Hillary did anything illegal or not. I don't want to see that ugly face and that model jacket wearing woman 
on my television anymore. She can go away and crawl into her troll hole and just <laughs> fucking stay there. I mean, her she looked like a, a rabid bitch at this point, and she, you know, and and just. Listen, I, I don't I don't disagree with you. I think that she maybe is one of the worst candidates of all time. If we get yeah. right down to it, she Lots was a t- game show host. Huh? And, and no mention of Kangles? Come on, people. Bark. No, but if it wasn't for her, Trump's uh, that would be uh, jumpsuits would uh, yeah. never uh, would never be in fashion again. You know? Look, you see those suits that woman, she wears and she pays eight grand a piece. Wait a minute. The woman had to dress to hide a myriad of problems physically. Okay. She could have worn and, a boomer. and and it's the same way. She got a pantsuit for the same reason you got plugs. Okay. To, co- well, to well, cover that, up my fat. <laughs> no, no, that's she got a no, that's because that, she wanted to that's look like why a man. you wear black all the time. Yes, Patrick. It's thinning. <laughs> you know, I mean, I her, her myriad problems. They they weren't covered up. I mean, oh, no. her face was still showing. So, unless she wore a burka, there was a lot that could help her. And she would have. So, if that designer made burkas, she would have worn one. Matter because, of fact, that's what she was wearing was an American burka. No, she was wearing she was wearing a pants suit, you know, which, which, uh, in in a way, a lot of times a woman who is in uh, in the diplomatic corps will wear yeah. pants suits to be more official. Okay, uh, not unusual. When okay. I was in high school, I wore a Nehru jacket. I had one and it was lime colored. Okay, that's how bad I was. I I topped you. Were you selling used cars and did you have white shoes? No, I didn't oh, sell. Oh, wait a minute. That, cars. That's what they wear in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoever got I, you know, yeah, but you live in Florida now. Whoever got the idea that white shoes and plaid pants were a good idea? And will I wake up one morning and want them? I never see any of that in Florida. I right. never see any white shoes and plaid pants. Really? No. And white belts? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I, like I that. just, I just, uh, you know, I just Pat wonder. Glenn, I, I just it? wonder. I just wonder if uh, one morning I'm going to wake up and suddenly have this desire Ooh, for plaid Florida. pants and white shoes. Only Listen, if you pull it, them up. Only if you pull them up to your chest. And a sensible <laughs> belt. It's a good thing I come out here in the morning and you're wearing pants, so I'm not worried about plaid pants. Yeah, well. You know, I, I wear pants to hide a myriad of physical problems, you know. Just so, like uh, poor Hillary. I just like poor, 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 poor Hillary. Yeah, no, listen, Hillary, you know, Hillary always had a problem uh, being fashionable. Uh, and, and when she was in, uh, in uh, Arkansas, uh, they always used to give her a bad time because she never dressed really well. And no finally, overalls? finally, somebody did a makeover on her, and they yeah. they started dressing her fairly well. But it was like it was very. She was a hard woman to make look great. Well, I thought okay. she wore those Oshkosh overalls and a, and a plaid no, uh, lumberjack no, shirt. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just wait till we get Pocahontas on the uh, on the trail, uh, so to speak, on the on the campaign trail. That's she'll, what she'll that, be looking. That's sweet. what Melania wears when yeah. she doesn't want Donald to fuck her. Yes, uh, Patrick. I, I was going to say, when she was first lady, and I, I believe I said that on this show when she was running, if she would just go back and look at photographs of herself when she was the first lady and wear some of those outfits, she would be leaps and bound ahead yeah. of where she was yeah. in fashion. And I mean... And I'm being serious here now, not just cutting her down. But isn't it, I mean, isn't it, isn't it funny? Her, to, to take her yeah. seriously as a candidate, it, it just like with everyone else, you have to look the part, and she never did. Let me take a Me Too approach to this, though. Would we be talking about a man that way? Yes. Will we, I because mean, what would we, would we be saying? Will, have we? Have you ever heard anybody criticize the way Trump was dressed? And actually, his suits were rather schlumpy. How yeah. about Bernie you know? Sanders? You Bernie said- Sanders is not a good dresser. Yeah, and nobody ever mentioned yeah. that except Phil, yeah. of course. Yeah, he did. You, you'd hear it on the news every every now and maybe not as often as Hillary, but you would hear it especially about a tie. 
you were going on endlessly about his fucking time. Trump's time. Trump's time. Trump's time. There's, only, there's, there's only so much you can do with a suit. She wears different kinds of clothes right. every day, right? Yeah, but, but what no, I'm it's saying... the same suit. Same what, suit, what, different color. What I'm saying is, is that... Uh, a woman gets gets nailed because she didn't look good right. and she didn't dress right and her I hair wasn't good. Nailed, and when a I guy when a guy is running good. for office, they don't even they don't even say they don't say, hey, he really wears some lousy suits, you know. Yes, Pat. Yeah, no, they they said that about. How many have you been hearing that have been running for office in the last several months get criticized about what they wear? Zero. I have heard none. It's only been Hillary, so the Me Too aspect is bullshit. It's her only. Every other woman I've seen run for any office in whatever state, in my own state, nationally, whatever, yeah. I don't hear anybody getting criticized. Well, maybe because of the True. Me Too movement. Maybe because people are scared to say anything, because why should they oh, say no, anything? Nobody's like going to say anything bad about Kit Chris and Gillibrand right now because of, of the way she leached onto the Me Too movement because she wants to be president. You know, yep. uh, I'd never vote for that cunt because uh, of what she did to Al Franken. I felt it was abominable. She took one of the, one of the if you're a liberal, she, he, she took mm -hmm. one of the best liberals, okay, the most ardent liberals in, in the Senate, and got him thrown out, chased him out of office. What, what was she thinking? We haven't heard a word from Al Franken. You know why? I think he just no. said, "That's it. You know, I've had it. I, you know, this was. I just don't need this shit." Yeah. And and went back and said, "I'm going to have a happy life, and maybe I'll write some books or something, or I'll go back and do some TV or whatever." But I don't need this shit. Yeah. I mean, Remember, he he had another life. Yeah. Yeah. And he was pretty good at it. Yeah. I don't remember. Was he a negative and, and, and ripping Trump a new one for the same kind of things that uh, he's been accused of? Uh, you know? uh, no, I don't think so. No. Uh, he, so he, he wasn't... Uh, he uh, he was, wasn't uh, whenever he would nail Trump, he would nail Trump on political mm. things and uh, on yeah. political right. positions he was taking. But, Not uh, on his philanderum. No, no, I don't think... Uh, uh, actually, uh, I don't think it... I don't even... Uh, you know, put tr uh, Trump on a stake because of his philandering. Uh, if you notice, I don't really complain about his philandering, but uh, no, you we know, just envy it. I, no, I no, I, I I don't envy it at all. You know, yeah. I, would you want to fuck Stormy Daniels? Come on. Ooh, hey, I would good. fuck mud. <laughs> Come on. I don't think there's any. If it was uh, warm and wet. Th these are all guys here, and I don't think there's a single one of us who would uh, want to have sex with Stormy Daniels. Now, Karen McDougal was kind of very attractive. Yeah, yeah. and you know, that, you know that Christian thing attracts me, too. You say you don't like it, but I, you know, I, I, I like that Christian thing because they do it for God. You know, I like to do it because I'm uh, lowering their self-esteem when they have sex with me. Yeah. Hey, so, we did it with uh, a Jew. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You're right, though. It's it's it has a lot to do with the fact that you know every president has had some kind of an issue like that within the bedroom. But yeah. except this Nixon. is just being brought out because there's he's got so much shit to bring out. Well, what do you mean has? What do you what What do you mean by that? That, that they've had something about the bedroom. Who, who, what well, you've Kennedy? heard it all the way back to Kennedy. Kennedy. Kennedy and, and, well, what, what, about, what about Obama? Obama's well, had nothing like that. Well, Obama, probably, Obama, well, there's, there's some exceptions. No, there's, Obama. Uh, Nixon, okay. Nixon uh, wasn't accused of those things. Right. Bush yeah. wasn't accused of those things. But okay. Although his all father the put his either. hand on some girl's ass. But, yeah, you know. but that, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> because but, he was, he was in a wheelchair. And was the that's right not the real point. The point is that he's got so much other shit going on, they're going to bring that out, too. You know? just add to the pile well, i think it started with uh the uh tapes and the bus and the accusations by some of the uh people okay. that were okay uh, but, but wait a minute let, 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 wait, let, 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 let's and look at let's, on his own wait a minute. let's look at this yeah. for a second you know uh i don't uh, i'm not going to uh, argue about his affair with stormy daniels or with karen mcdougall that's a private thing between himself and if he if Melania finds out about it between he and Melania he has to answer to her not to me and it all right was let me finish he ran let me finish for office but what i find uh, 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 d disgusting 
uh, is that he would probably, and I think on at least one occasion, and I'm trying to remember which one, oh yeah, Bill Clinton made a big deal about Bill Clinton's peccadillos. He satellite. did that during the yeah. debate. You know, and in that case, fuck you, Donald. I'm going after you for sticking That's your it. dick in a porn star. That's okay? It. Yeah, he, uh, had, he had these women uh, in the audience uh, when he was debating uh, Hillary Clinton, and I thought that was kind of a low blow. Yeah. Oh, good. My God, I, did we just hear that from Phil? Here it comes. Well, you know, Ooh. and, and uh, it was unfortunate that, uh, that Trump had to be in the presence of those women. And that, uh, no, and no, I thought it was a low blow. Yeah, it was a low blow. But the, uh, and and uh, because, I mean, Hillary was there, and I'm sure Hillary was never happy about the whole thing, you know? No. Uh, uh, the problem we had with, uh, with Clinton, and the reason you could nail him on this stuff was, he was the first president we had really had uh, in the modern era that was young enough that he was sexually active still. I mean, he really, and you know, Kennedy still wasn't uh, Kennedy was. Yeah, he was young, too. Uh, but mm -hmm. the younger presidents are going to have that little, you know, I mean, come on. Some young intern wants to blow you. You go, OK, you know, how about that Mamie Eisenhower? You know? Oh, yeah. Speaking Mamie, of I, which. Yeah. Speaking of which, what do you think about that Asia Argento thing? Asia. It's, uh, I think it's, Asia. it's pronounced Asia. Asia. Asiago, whatever. Asia Argento. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's kind of reverse me too stuff going on there. Well, you know, uh, she's a bit on the hypocritical side. Yeah. You know, I mean, um, I don't think that it should, uh, you know, discredit the Me Too movement. How no. much you want to bet that uh, Weinstein paid this kid? to come forward I don't know it's always possible Maybe. Ability. Maybe. you know to discredit uh, an accuser well that that's that and is a big, a big profile yeah that is a that's, possibility yeah. I mean I'm not I won't put anything I you know I won't uh, eliminate any possibilities where all that is concerned yeah I you know I, I just I look at it and say hey you know if I was Weinstein I would find somebody to discredit who's trying to you know to drag drag me down and uh, if and the kid needed money, yeah, and uh, he, you know, he, it was probably public knowledge to some extent that mm -hmm. this is what had happened. You know, the, hey, some seventeen-year-old kid bags the, you know, really hot actress, and, yeah. and she, and she was in those years. She was hot. Well, Weinstein uh, better find himself a, a a bag load of other underage kids because he's going to need them too. Well, yeah, but this is one. I mean, you, you only, you know, how do you eat an elephant? Well, one he, bite at they, a time. They, in, the okay, case, in, the, in the case in New York, I think he's going to skate. And I mm. think he's going to skate because of the recent uh, revealing of those uh, e those uh, texts to him. Yeah, from, yeah where they said she from, appreciated it. From who, the woman who is the prime accuser because she's the one that falls within uh, the uh, statute of limitations right. and so on. And it, she's, you know, it's like... I had a wonderful time last night. I, I don't like being a booty, booty call, but it's okay where you're concerned. You know, things like that. And mm -hmm. It's consensual. And, and the fact was that the, uh, the prosecutors failed to tell the grand jury about these texts. And because they failed to do that, it may throw the whole ca that case out. Well, and with it, the rest, of them, the rest of them will topple as well. Yeah. And this is what we call yeah. good lawyering. Mm -hmm. And I Trump think, will hire that guy. I, no, I think there's a good <laughs> chance he could skate on all yeah. of this. You know, but you know his career has been destroyed. His his movie uh, uh, empire has been destroyed. Uh, he's been he's been totally dethroned uh, by these accusations. Well, look, I'm going to tell you something, and I, I think maybe you and I talked about this at one point. No, it was Shecky that I was talking to. That's him. Shecky said. Even I knew Harvey Weinstein was a pig this way. You know, it was all over. Everybody knew this about Harvey. This was no big secret. So the yep. falling of his empire and all of that shit is only what's coming to him. You know? Yeah. Really? Better it's well, so I, I don't feel sorry for him in that respect. I'll tell you who I feel sorry for. I feel sorry for uh, uh, our, our comedian friend, uh, Louis C.K., I feel yeah. sorry for him. Yeah, all these guys that got dragged down well, from that. And also got dragged down early on in the Me Too thing. People who got dragged down later on, like what Ryan Seacrest and people like that, managed to skate on it because, uh, yeah, well, we, we've, had an, we, we've already taken enough people down. Did you hear Kevin Spacey has a new accuser? Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, I think that there was a movie that he released with no advertising to maybe 11 theaters, and it only it grossed less than 1000 bucks. Yeah, $613. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't have a good distributor. Okay, that was yeah. for one. one was it Weinstein? No. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll tell you something. Here's a piece of news that came out tonight. And this, yeah. is, this, this one is amazing. What is the biggest show in television? Sitcom in television. Uh, 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 Trump's uh, no, 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 uh, celebrity come on. No, 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 no jokes. What? Uh, oh, what's the biggest show in television now? In, in sitcom in television. Oh, jeez. Um, Big Bang. I don't That's know. Not, right. Not including Simpson. Big no, Bang. Right. Big Bang Theory. I yeah, guess. Big Bang yeah. Theory. Uh, yeah. Last year, it had ratings still that were incredible. Averaged like an eighteen per episode. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. They're canceling it after this season. No, I, 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 I heard think it's that time. it, it no. might have been going on still. No, it came out on, in a Deadline Hollywood oh. tonight. The CBS, uh, they say this is the last year for Big Bang Theory. And the reason is that they feel the show is dependent upon Jim Parsons being on it. Yeah. And he wants to go on and do other things. I mean, they've been, admittedly, they've all been doing this for 12 years. Right. And even if they never make another episode again, the residuals they're going to get from the reruns are going to be phenomenal, you know? Yeah, So like Seinfeld. It, so they feel that without Jim Parsons, there would be no Big Bang Theory. And the fact is, every single one of the four top people on that show are making a million dollars an episode. And so it's well, also... two and a half men, uh, when uh, Charlie Sheen was there... Well, wasn't he getting somewhere near that? Yes, but there were only two of them. Much larger cast, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. a much larger cast. I mean, uh, and 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 uh, he, they, they, I think they offered him for two seasons if he'd stay with it for two more seasons, a total of fifty million dollars. Huh. Wow. And he just said, "Uh, uh." You know, I and I, you know, I, I think that's wise of him. You know, why stay with it till nobody wants it around anymore? He's a good actor, and I hope that he is uh, his persona doesn't follow him to other roles, and he's a uh, he's able to expand. Well, on, he's been doing a lot of uh, Broadway. He he's been doing a lot of Broadway, and he's been doing a lot of straight films, and uh, you know I think he's he makes a hell of a villain. Huh? And, and I was just I saw an interview of him. I just I just thought you know if he played some like uh, serial yeah. killer Jeffrey Dahmer yeah. type or something, but some it, movie, it, it, I think it, it, yeah, yeah. he probably would. It would blow your fucking mind. It's amazing <laughs> that a show that has been is as big and still big after 12 seasons as Big Bang Theory uh, to, to have it canceled in its what is still its prime is is amazing. Of course, that happened kind of with Two and a Half Men, which is also another gigantic. No, no, Charlie network. Sheen killed it. He, but Charlie Sheen killed it. Yeah. What about what Seinfeld? That was still on top of the time. Seinfeld, uh, uh, Jerry decided, mm -hmm. you know, nine seasons is enough. And he was offered $5 million an episode to keep yeah. going. And let's leave while people still want us around. So, yeah. Well, you know, I, I can't, I'm kind of happy about this because this will give me time to watch the new Bur Murphy Browns that are coming out. Yeah, right. Which I can't wait <laughs> yeah. for I that. can hardly you know, wait I for I binge-watched oh, yeah. last okay. season's uh, Shameless because a new season's coming out. And, and for a couple of years, I, I lost interest in it. But the season eight actually was pretty good. Ho -hum. And I'm looking forward to Ho -hum. season nine. I, I, I huh? haven't watched – I've watched one episode of that show and – have no yeah. desire to see it ever again. Yeah. Well, I, you know I why? It. It was you know why? Because I saw the British show and it was good. Uh, really? Yes. Uh, well, I, I hadn't seen the British show. Y yes, uh, uh, Brian. Brian. Uh, Murphy, <laughs> coming back. Did I hear that right? Yeah. Y yeah. She's back. Yeah. This this September. Is, ever since Roseanne. Set your DVR. Ever since Roseanne uh, opened up Pandora's box. They're trying to bring back right. every half-baked comedy that ever was done on the network. No, it yeah. wasn't Roseanne. Tim it was Allen. So, it was something Talked before Roseanne. Wrecking Murray with Children, too. But what I did they do before Roseanne? I forgot what it was. Something else came back before. Oh, it was The X-Files that started Oh, The X-Files. Yes. Yeah. I never watched that. That yeah. didn't do very well. It did okay. No. Yeah. What? Um, hey, now, the Roseanne remake uh, without Roseanne, is right. that They're calling that whitish, I think. Whitish? Whitish. That's whitish? the new series, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, I've heard. <laughs> I, I used to watch Blackish. Uh, Blackish, I, I yeah, think the yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whitish is the new Roseanne yeah. spinoff. Yeah. Oh. No, um, um, you know, I mean, I, I I I think that show will do fine without Roseanne. You know, if they keep the same writers and they got the same uh, producers doing the thing and showrunners, yeah, no reason why it can't be successful. I'd watch it just for John Goodman. Yeah, yeah. You know. and and the uh, and the sister, what's her name? Yeah. Laurie Metcalf. The Laurie Metcalf, yeah. excellent yeah. actress, actor. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I I think uh, and the daughter. I think they're going to like make the daughter the main character. So I mean, I I think they can do a good job with it. I was surprised that the new Roseanne I actually liked. Did you watch any? Yeah, of I did too. I watched one episode. I yeah. was never a fan of the show, so I can't. But I thought it was. I thought it was very good. And uh, what's their uh, three episodes of um, uh, Better Call Saul? Now the second episode was almost shot entirely in silhouette. Everything you you saw was silhouetted by windows. I didn't notice that. You didn't notice that? No. Uh, yeah, there was so many scenes that were dark, and I think that had to do with uh, the, you know the burning up of the brother and oh, and right, so yeah. You know. But uh, there, there was a ton of uh, sh that they were shot in silhouette. What, but, what do you think uh, of it this year? Um, I'm starting to get back into it. I mean, uh, did you see this third episode? Yes. Okay, when they uh, uh, killed the guy out in the uh, in the desert, no, no, no. And they dragged, he hasn't uh, seen it yet. He hasn't seen oh, it. Yet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I won't tell you who they killed, but uh, it, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you mean uh, the the whole thing with the Hummels? Mm. Uh, that yeah. that went on forever, and didn't advance the plot one iota. No, no. Uh, I thought I think the show's a little slow this year. Hey, did did I read right about com series that are coming back? Alf is coming back too. Uh, I thought I read that. that. Really? Anybody hear that? Not it with is, yeah. right? Well, I guess yeah. I guess Bruce David can't write for it because he's dead. I guess Trying not, to no. married yeah. with children. Just as well. be another show I won't watch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bring back uh, Family Ties. Family Ties. What? Yeah. Which one that was that? Was, uh, was that was what's his name? Oh, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Right. Fox. Yeah. 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 Brian Keaton, yeah. Bob, yeah. Bobby Keaton, John. Back, Keaton. Let's bring back my mother. Michael, Michael let's J. Fox. Let's bring back my. Oh, thank <laughs> oh, you very much, Mr. Sad. Trump. Well, hey, it was good. Yeah, for Trump. really. Was good. <laughs> oh. Trump did it. Uh, no, um, right. um, um, I think while we're at it, let's bring back my mother. The car. Never saw it, so I don't. Care. Oh, 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 that was that was a great one with Dick Van Dyke's brother, Jerry Van Dyke. Oh, yeah, Jerry but who Van played Dyke. the mother? Uh, Agnes Moorhead. No. No, no, no. I'm. Sh you sure? I'll say a name. IMDb the thing. Oh, I know. Ann Southern. Ann Southern. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. The car talked. I don't have to go to IMDb. <laughs> I am IMDb. Uh, <laughs> so centered there. Yeah. Car fifty four. Where are you? Well, that was a funny show. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's dead too. They're all dead. They're all dead, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, I mean, Star Trek, Star Trek's not coming back because they're all dead. You know? Next generation oh. hey, coming will back. never die, huh? Next generation, uh, uh, Patrick Stewart's Patrick coming Stewart's back. Patrick Stewart's coming back. Yeah, they're gonna do. Uh, do John it's gonna, Luke Picard. It's gonna be back. called John Luke Picard. Yeah. You know. Um, I figured they uh, were done with Next Generation since they killed Data off in that last movie in 2002. Did, Did they, they kill him off? How do you Nemesis, whatever it was called. Oh, wait a minute. How do you it's kill a spoiler. off? How do, how do Tom you, Hardy. Wait a minute. How do you kill off a uh, android? It's off at the end of the film to save the crew. No, but, uh, yeah, but, but I think you're right about that. But he, he had, but he had a twin, didn't he? Loki, Loki, Loki. Loki? Loki? Yeah, uh, and and what you know, happened to him? He, there may be like twenty other datas ah, in, we don't in know. the factory. That's right. You know, there were only two. According as to the, far as we know, that of that film, but Albert brought up. Yeah, that. Yeah, but we don't know that in a cave brother. somewhere they aren't going to find an old data somewhere. You know, the science fiction, you can do whatever the hell you want. Look what they did with Doctor Who. Now he's got a, a million more lives. Yeah, you know, he was only on. supposed to have 12 lives, and they just used of the 12th live, yeah. right? And so now they're bringing him back, and he has a vagina. Data can come back. <laughs> right. They can start over. They can start over. You know over. what resurrects these characters? Money. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I know uh, Doctor Who was that whole thing about the uh, regeneration uh -huh. was created as a way of somehow explaining why they were replacing one right. actor with another. Mm -hmm. And so once they did that, they went, it's not a bad idea, you know, and any guy wants to leave, we just, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> wow. <coughs> wow. Mm. Wow. Bless you. No, but anyway, uh, uh, you know, that that was the perfect way to be able to replace yes. the old guy with a new guy. And uh, that's, that's why it's been that way with Doctor Who. You don't care about Doctor Who, do you, Patrick? I care more about whoever was the last person that took a shit while was in their turn. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a nice I'll, way I'll of, of putting it. Yes. You yeah, can... um, but the way you're explaining Doctor Who is the same way that... Um, James Bond was explained to me that James Bond isn't necessarily a person, that 007 was the title and oh, then okay. name James Bond, but it could be any person taking that position or whatever you want to call it. Because I have never seen one 007 movie in my entire existence. You, no, you, I don't believe you. Really? I, I never, because the the problem I have yeah. is when we take a main character and then we switch actors. It's like that's why I lost my interest in super uh, hero films. It uh. when Batman kept in 1989 when Batman came out, it was exciting for me on the big screen, Michael Keaton. And then they switched it after, what, the third one? Yeah. And I said, fuck it. And then I'm watching 17 different Spider-Men. Oh, yeah, the, the Spider-Man thing is, yeah. It, it, it's all fucked up, and I could never wrap my head around 007. Yeah. And then somebody explained it to me that it's more of a title or a uh, position, position than the person. So it can be any person. It's a, it's a brand name. It's right. a brand name. Yeah. That's really what like it is. Like Clorox. Yeah. Well, the latest it's speculation is that Idris Elba is going to be the next. And my question is, why would he want to be? Why not? It's a I good role. I think he's got enough of a career. I think I think being Bond is a career killer. I don't think so for him. I think yeah. it'd be fine for him. It didn't do anything for the last Bond. He 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 came out of it fine. Well, fine I, actor. I, yeah, but he's not doing a lot. You know, he does. He's doing more than Sean Connery got to pick from yeah. while he yeah. was doing Bond. Yeah. Um. But uh, I think there's some other people that can play Bond, too. Uh, I'm trying to remember the guy's name who did this thing, The Night Manager. Did you see that? No, I, I have it. But yeah, I, I it's great. That, yeah. And that guy is, would be perfect to mm -hmm. be Bond. I mean, it's... Well, I heard Once Upon a Time Sam Neill auditioned for the role of James Bond. Huh. Once Upon a Time, like during the Timothy Dalton years and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they probably looked hey, at him. Grant from Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah, but for years, I, I, I think there's a whole period of Bond where you could just avoid it. I think the Roger Moore era, yeah. you could just forget. Yeah. So I thought that, Roger Moore was good. Not oh, that you know, bad, he, no. Not as I bad as... a Bond fan well, who loved Roger Moore. Well, no, he, but, but he played the saint, and he played Bond like he was playing the saint, you know? And it was not very good. Not very good. <laughs> I Doctor. thought it was terrible. The guy was a fan. I mean, he was a true blue fan, much like you, Alex. He followed the, the films, and he thought that Roger Moore was the best. But, you know, his his personality was different. Well, a lot of people say that you you like the Bond you were born with. <laughs> Who was the first <laughs> one? Huh? Who was the first Bond? You don't know that? You don't know that? Came no. out first. Sean Connery. I, I, what? Sean Connery. Well, well, Sean Connery, but... That could, oh, be sure. a, okay. that could be okay. I loading. remember the car, the the DB4 Aston Martin. That's that's what I yeah. remember. <laughs> I rode in that once. Yeah, yeah, in a, in a parade, the actual car they used in the movie. But anyway, hey, listen, I, we got. Did you go. shoot the gun? Uh, no. Probably down the concourse this week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, thank you, uh, Jeff. Oh, nice to have you back every night now because he came back yeah. from Germany, uh, from Italy. Italy. And uh, he's all pasted up. He came from an uh, Italian dinner tonight, too. Yeah, I did. Uh, uh, Patrick, thank you so much. And uh, uh, Brian, we'll see you again as, as soon as possible. Same thing to you, uh, uh, Phil and, and uh, Kevin. Uh, 
always great to have Santa on our show. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it was uh, nice, uh, uh, Albert, uh, uh, yeah. being your guest again. Uh, yeah. Phil, I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Anyway, uh, everybody. It's the miracle of modern medicine. Everybody, <laughs> do yourself a favor and wave goodbye to the audience out there. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, 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 hey, uh, nice having you here. And thank you for having me here. Yeah, and come it. come back again and uh, uh, do the show, but to come back and hang out here because I've really, I really, I really enjoyed I'm the time with to you. It. To meet you. Anyway, that's, uh, that's uh, our old friend Albert uh, paying us yet one more visit. Uh, let me go offline here. And let me also kill this here. i got to kill all this so the next show can use it without my problems yeah. anyway that's it we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night same time same station in life uh at one o'clock this morning it's connections tomorrow night it is uh well it's just me at 10 o'clock because uh, damien's off this week uh and so we'll see you at 10 o'clock same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her tell her i love her okay bye bye